This is a preview video. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. And while inflation around the world seems to be moderating, it's a completely different picture in the United Kingdom after last month's CPI print came in hotter than expected. I'm Christina Marujos. With me today is Achilles Gergolopoulos, investment analyst. Achilles, the latest inflation report from the United Kingdom will be released on Wednesday. Do you think we'll see a resumption in the decline of the CPI rate? And what could that potentially mean for the Bank of England's next decision in a few weeks? Good morning, Christina. Uh, yes, the UK continues to experience very strong inflation uh, despite uh, 475 basis points of rate hikes by the Bank of England since February 2022. Uh, we have to admit that the Bank of England adopted a more measured approach uh, compared to the other central banks, uh, for example, the Fed and the ECB. As a result, inflation remains high. Uh, Bank of England is probably behind the curve on this. So inflation is above 8% for a 14th consecutive month. Now, at its last meeting in June, the Bank of England surprised with a 50 base points rate hike. There are growing expectations that they're going to do the same at the early August meeting. However, the exact size of the rate hike will be determined by Wednesday's CPI report. In terms of the figures, the headline is expected to drop to 8.2% uh, from 8.7% 8, 8 the previous month. Just as a comparison, the US has 3% headline inflation, so there is a, there is a considerable gap there. Uh, and the core uh, and the core uh, inflation index is expected to remain at the record high 7.1, and that's really a problem for the Bank of England. There is also some mounting political pressure for the Bank of England to deliver finally its price stability. Uh, as a reminder, Bank of England has a target of 2% inflation. Now, if we get uh, an upside surprise on Wednesday, so we get stronger headline and stronger core inflation, then expectations for a 50 base point rate move by the Bank of England at the early August meeting will probably be cemented. Uh, additionally, there will be a series of upgrades in terms of the rate hikes we expect or the market expects for the rest of the year. On the flip side, we get a dashout surprise, uh, maybe for example, if the inflation drops below the core indicator or even if the core indicator finally records a move below 7%, closer to the 6.5%, then we're probably going to see the market tending towards a 25 base points rate move in two weeks' time and then quite a few of the rate hikes priced in for the rest of the year being priced out. I see. Well, Wednesday's report will definitely gather a lot of focus. Let's turn to the market reaction now, Ahileas. The pound has shown remarkable resilience lately. How could we see it perform this week? The pound has been the star of 2023. Uh, it has managed to outperform both the US dollar and the euro. Uh, and that's very important if you consider that, let's say, the different path of adjustment from the central banks up to now, as we said, the Bank of England was a bit less aggressive compared to the other central banks. Now on Wednesday, same situation as we dis just discussed for the Bank of England, we get a stronger CPI, then there will be pressure on the euro uh, pound pair. There probably be a move towards the point, 0 0.84 area. On the flip side, we get a downside surprise. The market feels a bit more relaxed in terms of the Bank of England then we're probably going to see a move towards the 0 0.8670 area. Achilles, thanks so much. The latest CPI report from the United Kingdom comes out on Wednesday. This was a preview report here at XM.com.